Hi everyone, Kim the Late Blooming Line Worker here with more chakra goodness for you. We've already talked about the root and the sacral chakras, but don't worry, you can check them out on my channel if you miss them. Also, when you get a chance, be sure to check out the Gypsy Apothecary, whose wonderful shop I'm shooting in right now. Now, on to the solar plexus. The solar plexus chakra is located just above the navel, and the Sanskrit word for this chakra is Manipura, which means City of Jewels. This chakra is associated with the element of fire and the power of transformation. This is our center of willpower and achievement. The solar plexus is also the center of etheric psychic intuition, or vague non-specific sense of knowing. This is what we call gut feelings. The color associated with this chakra is yellow, which itself symbolizes the mind, intellect, and wisdom. The power of this chakra is to take all of the passion and drive from the lower two chakras and manifest the dreams cultivated there. Finally, this chakra is our center for personal power, which builds our sense of confidence and self-esteem. The areas of life governed by this chakra include how we perceive and feel about ourselves, our sense of willpower, self-discipline, and our personality. This chakra guides manifestation, taking our hopes and dreams, and finding practical ways to bring them to fruition. This chakra rules our sense of power, not control, allowing us to be proactive rather than reactive. Let's take a look at how someone with a balanced solar plexus may behave. This person would feel and act powerful without the need to control others because they understand that most things are out of our control. They are confident and carry high self-esteem. They are happy, content, and have a sunny personality. And their sense of self-control and discipline allows them to manifest their dreams through hard work and determination. Now a person with an underactive solar plexus chakra will behave differently. This person lacks confidence and has very poor self-image. They likely engage in negative self-talk and judge or criticize themselves harshly. They are likely anxious and fearful due to stress caused by lack of control. This person spends too much time in the intellectual space with a tendency to overanalyze and live within their head, which only feeds their anxiety. Conversely, someone with an overactive solar plexus may show up in their life as a workaholic, taking on too much work, and a perfectionist. They are often overly demanding of others due to their own very high standards for themselves. This person is overly concerned with power and recognition and is easily upset when their efforts go unnoticed. Feelings of resentment build up in the chakra in the form of anger, hate, and over time can manifest into digestive problems. Sheesh, balance sounds way more enjoyable, right? So how do we regain, attain, or maintain balance? Well, there's loads of options. There's meditation, yoga, aromatherapy, working with stones or crystals, Reiki, or really anything that resonates with you that you can do on a regular basis. What do you like to do to balance your solar plexus? Post in the comments your balancing methods or feel free to ask questions regarding any of the balancing techniques I just mentioned. So that's it for this video on the solar plexus chakra. Be sure to subscribe to my channel to stay tuned on the latest late blooming lightworker content. And once you've done that, you can check out my solar plexus chakra balancing guided meditation designed to guide you through a relaxation process and several tools to help you connect to your pure solar plexus energy. Catch you next time.